part of our broadcast. We know the Spirit of Grace has been of tremendous blessing to you. We love to hear from you. Send your testimonies, questions, and prayer requests to Pastor Shagmo at shagmoabaji.org. Pastor Shagmo will respond to them personally. God bless you. Welcome to the Spirit of Grace. I'm Pastor Shagmo Abaji. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. It's a beautiful week. Amen. We're looking at the subject of healing. And God has been are touching people, testimonies are pouring in, praise God, healing is taking place all over. Those who have received the word of God this month, they have testimonies to share. Praise the Lord. And uh, you are next in line, in Jesus' name, amen. Healing is in your mouth, <laughs> glory to God. Healing is in your mouth, right in that hole. Your tongue, your lips, your mouth, everything is a healing hub. Praise God. You can propel healing right now from your mouth. The Word of God says so. The Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 21, it says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Hallelujah. Now we can read it this way. Sickness and health, sickness and healing are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it shall eat the fruit thereof. You know, sickness here speaks of death. And life here speaks of health, healing, restoration. Praise God. Now, you can discipline your mouth to speak the word of God. The Bible says the word of God is life 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 so you speak god's word you speak it to yourself you know i love verse 20 the preceding verse of that same proverbs chapter 18 amen it says a man's belly or life shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled so that means what you are saying with your mouth is going to uh, get deep into your inner consciousness and it's going to saturate your life. That means your life will begin to be a manifestation of the things that you have been saying. Praise God. So healing is in your mouth. Life is in your mouth. So you choose to speak life. Praise God. You choose to say, I'm whole. You choose to say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I am healed. Hallelujah. You choose to say by the stripes of Jesus, I have been made whole. You choose to say from the very crown of my head to the soles of my feet, I have health. You choose to say, I call my body whole. I call my eyes whole. I call my body healed in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, this is very important. Whatever you say with your mouth consistently, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. You will have what you say. You will have what you say. You will have what you say. You say it long enough, you will have it. Praise God. Jesus the Lord said, So I shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, be thou cast in the sand, shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. You will have what you say. And knowing that you will have what you say, then you have to be careful to keep saying the right things. Praise God. You have to be careful to keep saying the right things. Not just say it, you know, once and leave it at that. No, you have to keep saying it with your mouth because healing is in your mouth. Life is in your mouth. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Life. And it flows from your belly through your mouth. So speak health. Speak life. Speak prosperity. Speak wholeness. Speak safety. Speak healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, your body will respond to your mouth, will respond to the words of your mouth. You set the pace for the well-being of your body with the words of your mouth. You can set the pace right now. Glory to God. Say I'm whole. Hallelujah. Never say I'm sick, I'm dying. This thing is killing me. No, don't say that. Say I'm whole. I'm blessed. I'm, I'm, I'm in safety. I'm healed from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. I walk in wellness, in healing. Praise God. Amen. And you see, 
healing is in your mouth. Don't forget to put the word of God in your mouth and speak what you believe. That's what you're going to have in Jesus' name. I was diagnosed with polyps, which always resulted in intense symptoms of sinuses for over 10 years. Doctors always advised I go for polyps removal surgery, which was a temporary solution and that the surgery will be done periodically. I took a week to seek God's face, daily meditating on Psalms 107 verse 20 with prayers, fastings and consistent confessions. On the third day of the week, I had a dream where I saw pastor who declared that the disease was taken away from me. Right now, I give God all the glory because my healing has been confirmed and perfected. Every symptom has disappeared. I believe you've been blessed today until I come your way again tomorrow. Keep living and basking in this fair of grace. I love you and God bless you.